Hello and welcome to ESPA News Now. I'm your host, Charlotte Lynch, here to recap and preview all things Westwood. The next Household Hazardous Waste Day will be held on September 14th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The Department of Public Works has a list of acceptable and unacceptable items on the town's website. The event will be held at the DPW Yard at 50 Carby Street. Westwood Day is just under a month away. Westwood Day begins on Friday, September 20th with a football game on Flay High Field, followed by a fireworks show. The festivities continue on Saturday morning with a 5K beginning at 9 a.m. A fun run, vendor village, activities, entertainment, and the food court will begin at 10 a.m. Westwood Day is certainly a big effort to put on, and Westwood Recreation is looking for volunteers. Tasks include event setup and cleanup, parking and activity monitors, greeters, and more. You can contact Westwood Recreation or head to westwoodday.org to sign up. There are currently no municipal meetings coming up next week that Westwood Media Center will be covering. However, please check the town website for the most up-to-date information. Our YouTube channel has a library of government meetings, sports games, lectures, special events, and so much more. A flu clinic will be held at the Council on Aging on Monday, September 23rd from 9 a.m. until noon. Appointments must be made in advance by calling the number on the flyer. Sign-ups begin next Monday. There are several public information sessions for the new fire station being held over the next few months. The first date will be September 16th at 6 p.m. at the Westwood Library. These sessions will detail the needs and current condition, timelines and costs, and temporary station discussions. The Select Board accepted several grants on Monday night at their meeting. Two were for the fire department's SAFE program, totaling $8,100. Fire department has used the SAFE funding to meet with students at various schools, to hold instructions um, at the in all instructions at the fire station, to go over friendly uh, to go over friendly um, matters with the firefighters regarding stop, drop, and roll techniques. Funding was also used to provide seniors with smoke detectors and/or battery replacements for their homes while the other was an $80,000 grant for local cybersecurity. Um, this was something that there was almost $7 million worth of, of million of federal grant support for our cybersecurity initiatives. Uh, and this is something our IT department would be looking to apply uh, to their cybersecurity efforts uh, and, and strengthen the efforts that they already have in place. Early voting for the state primary in September is fast approaching. Early voting will be held in the Gillette meeting room at the Westwood Police Station on the 24th, as well as the 26th through the 30th. Times can be found on the flyer shown on screen. The primary itself will be held on Tuesday, September 3rd. That will do it for us here at Westwood News Now. New episodes premiere every Friday, so tune in to us next week for more news. Thank you for watching.